Last week, U.S. President Joe Biden's administration halted a shipment of U.S.-made ammunition to Israel, it was stated. The news report pointed out that the U.S. halting arms shipments to Israel was the first time since the attacks on Gaza began on October 7, and according to Israeli officials, the halting of the shipment caused serious concern in the Tel Aviv administration. It was also noted that U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who visited Israel, and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had a tough conversation about a possible ground attack on Rafah. Despite warnings from Biden and Western officials that a possible ground attack on Rafah would cause more civilian deaths and worsen the humanitarian crisis, Netanyahu announced that the attack on Rafah, where one, five million people have taken refuge, would be carried out. On the other hand, 88 members of the Democratic Party in the U.S. Congress stated that there are credible allegations that Israel is deliberately blocking humanitarian aid to Palestinian civilians and called on Biden to reconsider aid to Israel under U.S. law.